let's talk about my most favorite ear piercing which I currently have the conch piercing I'm also going to share with you important tips for a successful conch or cartilage piercing and show you a unique piece of jewelry I personally designed for my conch I'm excited so if you are a fan of piercings then this video is for you Hi, I'm MC. Welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It will help my channel a lot and don't forget to turn that bell on for new videos. I do luxury, fashion, and lifestyle related contents. So you may comment below videos you want to see. You may also follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much. I had my conch pierced on April 24 this year six weeks after i got my helix piercing and i have posted a video about it my experience pain level and some details if you haven't watched that video link is up here i've also done two videos which you may have watched my helix piercing experience and two months update so if you are interested and planning to get one feel free to watch those videos so today, however, I'm going to talk about my conch piercing and I want to focus more on my struggle in finding the right conch earring when I was ready to downsize it because it is very important to do so after the initial swelling has gone down in order to avoid potential complications as irritations, bumps, or odd uh, angles as your piercing heals up. I am sharing this to you to avoid what I have experienced wherein I have spent a lot of cash just to find an earring that is nice, pretty decent for the conch. In general, something that I can definitely wear all day even for special occasions. It's really challenging to switch earrings on this part of your cartilage, uh, especially when it is not fully healed yet. And we all know the risks. Even if it's healed up, you can still experience redness or irritation with incorrect jewelry size and type. Mine is on its eight weeks just yet for cartilage piercings, you know, like the helix, conch, rook, tray goose, and so on. You have eight to 12 weeks until you can safely change your earrings. But in my case, I downsized to a shorter post at six weeks which i do not recommend it depends on your ability your body's ability to heal so the only problem with me was i tried to switch to a hoop earring a few days after i downsized it got hurt and swollen a bit within three hours of wearing the hoop so it felt heavy and was so uncomfortable so i switched back to my original my initial piercing jewelry to avoid any more issues then after the swelling has gone down i had to put back the one i used to downsize and until now i'm still wearing it so it's this uh, Diamond Trinity Sad Flat Back Labre or Labrette. I'm going to insert a photo so you can see it up close. It's in yellow gold setting. It's beautiful. It was sold per piece and you know since it is flat back I can sleep on it comfortably. It's uh, solid gold and natural mine diamonds. I can also use this or you can also use this as your first initial piercing jewelry it's beautiful like i said and really shiny the diamonds are color d size 16 g and 8 mm in length or the post i really love it but my original plan is to wear a hoop for this piercing because i really like the look of it i think it is a classic pick for the conch eye-catching and trendy since i am going to need only one hoop i had so much difficulty looking for a single piece in my size i knew that i have a thick cartilage so a bigger diameter is needed i purchased a pair of 15 mm hoops which i have shown you before in one of my fine jewelry unboxing videos it didn't work well because i found out that it's heavy it doesn't fit comfortably and i forgot that it isn't a continuous hoop sorry guys for the noise it's very hard to concentrate but it's kids playtime you know 
Anyway, the edge of the rings are sharp and tight, causing pinching or straining. The reason why I got size 15 was because I have a slightly deep conch, a standard conch jewelry hoops have a diameter of 10 to 12 mm or even 13 mm. Prior to this, I have had other purchases such as hoop hinge, continuous hoops, clicker. <laughs> some are pairs, some are single, but all didn't work. They range from 12 to 15 mm. So it's either they're heavy, uncomfortable, tight, or too loose. So I thought of why should I not ask someone to customize one for me? That's how I ended up getting this piece just for my conch. I'm tired of experimenting and I don't have much time to go out trying what's best for me. So I contacted one of the jewelers I know, showed them my design, gave them my measurement, and after a few days, delivered to my doorsteps. I'm excited to show you my personalized conch earring as I'm positive that it's going to fit perfectly and will conform to my liking. So let's open it up. I hope someone is available here to assist me so I can try it on. My existing stud is a little bit tiny. With my long nails and the piercing location, it would be impossible to take it off. OMG. This is so pretty. I'll call this the snug conch earring. I've combined the basic straight barbell with balls and hoop for this design. And wow, look at these heart-shaped patterns. So cute. This earring is made of 18 karat yellow gold set with 17 pieces of 0 0.01 diamonds and the weight is 2 gram finish. The thickness of the post is 16G or gauge, while the length is 8 mm. The inner diameter is 14 mm. Basically, it is what I needed for my conch. It is a bit pricey, I know, for a single piece, but worth it because of the craftsmanship and the materials used. It is also worth noting that a stud should be used rather than a hoop for ease of healing. That is why I use the post as the foundation and since I love the look of hoops for the conch, I had it designed this way. I incorporated the hoop so it looks like a real hoop. I don't need to switch anymore and wait until it's fully healed to change jewelry. I think I've made the right decision on this one. The only time I'm going to change jewelry is when I get tired of it. <laughs> So, here are some important things you must do for a successful conch piercing. Disclaimer guys, I'm not a piercer. Everything I say is based on my own experience. So always check with your piercer and follow his or her instructions, okay? So the things I'm going to mention are not the usual do's and don'ts or typical routines on how to take care of your conch or cartilage piercings but these are the things we must not neglect or forget to avoid piercing failure number one when getting a conch or cartilage piercing begin with a stud rather than a hoop hoops uh, prolong the healing of your piercings because they are more prone to getting caught on things because it goes around the outside of your ear it is more interacting when washing hair getting dressed undressed etc and this movement will slow the healing significantly so consider which is more important how long your piercing takes to heal or wearing a so cool conch hoop so number two, downsizing your cartilage piercing jewelry. This is an often step that is critical to the overall healing of your piercing. Not all, but most piercings require jewelry that is longer in length or wider in diameter in order to accommodate the swelling. While some may find longer length annoying, it is necessary precaution to prevent jewelry from embedding into tissue once swelling takes place. But when the swelling is gone, you must switch to a shorter post. Longer post being left in for too long can cause the piercing 
uh, channel to shift its angle. Incorrect angles places pressure causing the dreaded cartilage bump. Not downsizing soon enough can make these problems and the tough part is downsizing can vary greatly from one person to another. So after a few weeks some people like me are ready but for others it can take well over two to three months so it's best to visit your piercer making the first uh, change with the help of your piercer is important he can walk you through the steps of how to change out the jewelry so you can feel confident doing it yourself number three do not remove your jewelry if you have any difficulty visit your piercing professional for help especially within the first few months if the piercing is removed there is a risk that the hole will close up. Four, you cannot wear AirPods or earbuds with a conch piercing, at least while it's healing. Swap your earbuds over the ear headphones while your piercing is healing to avoid snags, irritation, or pain. The full healing process can take anything from six to nine months. Number five, the conch consists of two styles, the inner and outer conch. While conch location will depend on your cartilage anatomy, you also need to decide your preferred jewelry style before choosing the conch location. If you love hoops, get an outer conch piercing. For the inner conch, you'll want to opt for a cartilage stand. In other words, don't get an inner conch piercing if you plan to use hoops later. Make sure you know which one you want and where exactly you want it. Number six, ask your piercer what size your piercing is. Everyone's body or ear is different and sometimes piercers will use different lengths and gauges depending on your body or the type of jewelry you want to wear. If you are not sure of what jewelry size to get for your replacement, ask your piercer. It is nearly impossible to purchase uh, correctly sized jewelry, especially online, if you don't know what initial piercing jewelry size you are currently wearing. Otherwise, you will end up with something that is not a good fit, meaning you lose money for it. Let me know in the comment below if you yourself have a conch piercing. What do you think about the conch? It is actually my favorite over all the other piercings. So that is it for this video. I hope you find it useful as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.